A lot of people have questions about what's going on inside a suppressor. Generally, there's two types of baffles, your baffle stack or your monolithic core baffle or mono baffle. So we're gonna take apart a few of these cans today and show you the differences of the baffles inside them. The first one being an AAC Element 2 using K baffles. The CTA baffles are the style inside this Silencer Co Spectra 2. And lastly, a monolithic core inside the Silencer Co Sparrow. So starting off, we'll go ahead and disassemble this element too. The front cap off, you can see the exposed K baffles. And they're just a stack of individual baffles that rest inside there. So next we'll pull apart the Spectra 2 from Silencer Co. On here, you'll see it's still fairly similar to the element. It's a stack of individual baffles that slide out. These, however, are CTA baffles. So while it's, again, the stack of individual baffles, these click together to prevent lead and carbon from reaching the uh, outside of the suppressor tube, making cleaning a little bit easier. And lastly, we'll open up the Sparrow from Silencer Co. This is a monolithic core. So you remove the back and the tube slides out. It's protected by these two clamshells. The clamshells function kind of like the CTA baffles to prevent things from reaching the tube of the silencer. The monolithic core you can see is quite a bit different. It's just one solid piece instead of a stack of individual pieces. So visually, they're obviously all very different, uh, but they do affect performance of the suppressor as well. The K baffles generally sound very good. However, because of all this open area, they can allow lead and carbon to build up around the baffles, kind of welding them into the tube of suppressor, making cleaning very difficult. The CTA baffles from the Spectra 2, for example, click together and remedy this problem, but still have the benefits and sound quality of the K baffles. The monolithic core is by far the easiest to clean. It's one piece, you can dip them, uh, very durable. However, they generally have more first round pop than your K baffles or CTA baffles. That being said, there's a lot of monolithic core suppressors that overall, between a full magazine or two, will have better decibel reduction. It's just that first round pop may be worse than the K or CTA baffles. So all of these three suppressors, the Element 2, the Spectra 2, and the Sparrow, are very good in their own right, and I don't think anybody would be disappointed with any of them. Uh, however, it's important to know there is some differences as far as cleaning and maintenance uh, and first round pop between the three. Although the suppressors in front of me are all rimfire suppressors, the same properties hold true when looking at sealed centerfire rifle cans. Hopefully this helps some people learn the difference between a monolithic core and K baffle or CTA baffle system. If you have any questions, concerns, or need any more information, absolutely feel free to comment below, give the shop a call, or send us an email.